Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Joyce. In today's lesson, I will teach you the fastest way to learn the multiplication table. If you're interested, let's do this! Imagine kung isa kang bata na pinagme-memorize ng multiplication table from 1 to 10, you need to memorize 100 math facts. Makakatulong kung mag-recite ka ng 1 times 1 equals 1, 1 times 2 equals 2, up to 10. Pero, kung di ka matyaga, here's a simple tips that you can follow. Umpisa muna tayo sa pinakamadaling multiplication table, ang table of 1. Rule, any number that you multiply by 1, the answer is itself. For example, 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. Balik na rin naman natin. 5 times 1 is 5. If you master this rule, you will learn 20 math facts in the multiplication table. Multiplying by 2. Rule. When you multiply any number by 2, double the number by adding the number to itself. For example, 2 times 3 is the same as 3 plus 3, which is 6. 2 times 6 is the same as 6 plus 6, which is 12. If you master this rule, you can now solve 40 math facts in the multiplication table. May madaling paraan para mabilis nating masuulo ang table of 8. So, una, itype mo mun, isulat mo muna yung 8 times 1, 8 times 2, hanggang 8 times 10. Pag nagawa mo na yun, punta na tayo dun sa... 1's digit. So, yung 1's digit muna yung susulat natin sa mga sagot. So, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, tapos 8 ulit, 6, 4, 2, 0. Next naman, isulat na natin yung sagot na nasa 1's place. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, pagdating sa 4, doble, 4 ulit, 5, ah, sorry, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, makikita nyo, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2, 16, 8 times 3, 24, 8 times 4, 32, 8 times... 540 and 8 times 10, 80. Ganun din sa table of 9. So, sulat mo muna ulit yung 9 times 1, 9 times 2, 9 times 3, 9 times 4, hanggang 9 times 10. Okay? Pag nagawa mo na yan, punta na tayo sa pagsulat ng mga sagot. So, punta mo na tayo dun sa 1's place. So, sulat mo... 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Then, puta na tayo doon sa 10th place. Sulat mo naman, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, kung titignan mo, 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2, 18. 9 times 3, 27. 9 times 4, 36. 9 times 5, 45. 9 times 6, 54. 9 times 7, 63. 9 times 8, 72. 9 times 9, 81. And 9 times 10 is 90. Bukod dyan, meron pang isang teknik. Halimbawa, 9 times 7. Yung multiplier na 7, mabawasan mo lang ng isa. So, magiging 6. Then, mag-iisip ka ng number na pwede mong idagdag sa 6 para maging 9. So, 6 plus 3 is equals to 9. So, the answer is 63. So, 9 times 7 is 63. 
another example. 9 times 5, yung multiplier, which is 5, bawasan mo ng isa. So, magiging 4. Then, anong number ang i-add mo sa 4 para maging 9? 4 plus 5 is equals to 9. The answer is 45. 9 times 5 is 45. May pattern sa product ng table of 5. So, unang nagawin, isulat mo muna yung 5 times 1, 5 times 2, 5 times 3, 5 times 4, hanggang 5 times 10. And then, isulat na natin ngayon yung product. So, magsimula tayo sa product ng 1's digit. Okay, magsimula tayo sa 1's digit. Ang technique lang dito ay isusulat natin yung 5... Alternate, 5, 0, 5, 0, 5, 0, 5, 0, 5, 0. And then, puta naman tayo sa 1's digit. Dito naman, again natin ay 0. Dalawang 1, dalawang 2, dalawang 3, dalawang 4, and so 5. So, kung titignan mo, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times, 20, 5 times 4 is 20, and up to 5 times 10, which is 50. If you know this rule, you can now solve 50% of the question in the multiplication table. Multiplying by 3, 4, 6, and 7. Dito madalas nalilito ang mga bata. Ang susi para mabilis nating masolve ang multiplication terms na ito ay sa pamamagitan ng skip counting technique. Ano ang skip counting? Skip counting can be defined as a method of counting forward by adding the same number. For example, skip counting by 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Let's try the technique by solving multiplication problems. 3 times 6 is equals to the multiplicand 3 will tell you to skip count by 3 and 6 as the multiplier will tell you kung ilang beses ka dapat mag-skip count by 3. So let's try to skip count. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. We'll stop at 18 since this that is the 6th term. So the answer is 18. Skip counting by 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Let's try to answer 4 times 8. The multiplicand 4 will tell you to skip count by 4 and 8 as the multiplier will tell you kung ilang beses ka dapat mag-skip count by 8. To solve, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. We stop at 32 since that is the 8 terms. So, the answer is 32. Skip counting by 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Let's try to solve 6 times 8. The multiplicand 6 will tell you to skip count by 6. And 8 as the multiplier will tell you kung ilang beses ka dapat mag-skip count by 6. So, 6 times 8, you need to skip count by 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. We stop at 48 since it is the 8th term. So the answer is 48. Skip count by 7. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. Let's solve 7 times 8. 
7, the multiplicand will tell you to skip count by 7. And 8, as the multiplier, will tell you kung ilang beses ka dapat mag-skip count by 7. To solve, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56. The answer is 56. Multiplying by 10. Aside from skip counting, may iba pang technique sa pag-solve ng table of 10. Ang clue dito ay ang 0. For example, 10 times 5 is equals to copy the 0 from 10, then copy the multiplier, which is 5. The answer is 50. Another example, 10 times 3. Copy the 0 from 10, then copy the multiplier, which is 3. The answer is 30. Congratulations! You've reached the end of the lesson. Remember, practice will help you to master the multiplication table. That's all for today. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na to, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the like button. Bye-bye!